Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. Today we are experimenting with something that has kind of gone viral uh, over the past week. KFC rice cooker. Rice cooker. <laughs> right? Is that what it's called? <laughs> so it's uh, the name is as it's implied. You use KFC fried chicken, uh -huh. and then you use your rice cooker, and it makes like this. You just cook everything in it, and it makes this delicious rice. And I think it originated in like Japan. Oh, okay. So I used three. Uh, cups of uncooked rice and then instead of adding water to it uh, it's said to add chicken stock instead so we filled that up and then added a little bit of soy sauce and then bam I we it didn't say how many pieces of chicken to put in but I only did whatever could fit mm. so I think I we used three chicken breasts in there huh mm -hmm. okay and then just close the lid and press cook and it did make this house smell very like fragrant, huh? Yeah. Like it smells we, like a KFC. Like we own a KFC restaurant. Like we own a KFC restaurant. And then we uh, took the chicken back out. Uh, we deboned it and we shredded it. Added some salt and pepper, and then add the shredded chicken back in. Mix it up, and bam. Your plate. So um, when we went to Japan. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but I guess KFC is very popular over there. I'm not surprised is because the chicken over there is really good. Really high quality chicken. You remember the few times we ate chicken over there? It was delicious, no? Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't contribute it to KFC, but the chicken is good over, over there in Japan. <laughs> well, let me give you guys a close up while Mark keeps scooping. Mm. You guys see that? I don't know how much, how much is that enough for you? Do you want more? Uh, we can always uh, scoop more as we go, right? Okay. See how this goes. First bite. Cheers. <laughs> mm. It tastes like a chicken and rice dish. Huh. It's, it's like eating original recipe rice. Like the rice all tastes like the the chicken. Chicken. KFC chicken. Yeah, it does. Not bad. Oh wow. This makes it easy. Yeah. Mmm. Right? Mm. Kind of reminds me of like a really flavorful, like, I don't know, chicken porridge, mm. but not as wet. Yeah. Mmm. And I don't usually like um, chicken breasts that much, but you used the chicken breast in here and it came out very uh, moist. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good. It's, there's a lot of flavor to this. All right, we don't need any more um, salt or pepper. It's no. pretty um, seasoned well. Yeah. Mm. I can't say we've um, really ever used our rice cooker to like cook anything else but rice in it, right? Is yeah. this like the first time we've done something like this? Yeah. No, one time. I saw a recipe where you add, instead of water, chicken stock, and you put some star anise and like other like spices to it. Mm -hmm. But this is way easier. You don't need to add any of the other spices. No. And it and it has chicken in it. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. I like it a lot. It actually, <clears throat> you know how sometimes when you eat like fast food fried chicken just straight up, you get kind of like, it's too much. It's like oily, mm -hmm. greasy. This kind of takes that all away because you have all of the rice that absorbed probably all of that. Instead. I don't know if it's because you said it was um, started in Japan, but it kind of tastes Asian-y. Oh, yeah. It, right? You're and right. KFC and just rice, but it kind of tastes Asian-y, huh? Mmm. <laughs> I like it a lot. It's so simple. Yeah. Mm. I think next time though we would we probably missed out on a missed opportunity to have some like pickled vegetables or something. Oh. That would be really good. Oh no, like a sunomono salad, the Japanese oh, yeah. cucumber salad. Oh, that would be good with this. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. Do you remember eating at a KFC in Japan? Yeah, I think we just had one chicken. I think that's all we ate. Mm -hmm. But I was convinced that the chicken there tasted better than here. <laughs> I was a little concerned because you know how the recipe, they were like, oh, just, you know, put a chicken in the, the rice cooker. I thought it might come out differently here. Still good. How many servings do you think three cups make? 
Um, usually when I make three cups of rice, at least six, five, six people could eat it. Mm. But I think for us with this, maybe we could finish this ourselves. <clears throat> I would not be surprised. Yeah, even like the color of the rice, there's sections of it that look like caramelized almost. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Do you know um, uh, Vietnamese, you know how we have something called uh, soy, which is like the rice, the sticky rice thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of that too. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Would your parents like this? I don't know. Ooh, we should bring this to a potluck one time and not say a word and just see if people catch on. Do you think? I mean, the I feel like original recipe is one of those very distinct flavors. Like I could tell. Like when you eat this, like oh, it kind of is is familiar. It's yeah. like KFC. What is this? Exactly. Well, you're right. It is KFC. We should totally <laughs> make it for the next potluck. Mm. But then. Any, you no, know, I don't know. Our friends don't really watch this channel, so it's okay. <laughs> I was gonna say they're gonna know now, but eh. I was only supposed to order chicken when I went to the drive-thru, but the bucket of chicken was already 17 bucks, and then the meal was $23.99. So I was like, why, why spend 17 bucks on just the chicken if I can add a few more? Bu but that's how they get you. Just, and we're not gonna even be home the next few days to like, we're even gonna finish go out everything. Of town. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe after filming, most likely James is gonna open up that mac and cheese and mashed potato with the gravy. And you're gonna eat it. Probably. <laughs> it's a guarantee. But you know, because there's rice in here, I think it's a lot more filling than I anticipated. I could just eat this all day. Mm. <laughs> you know what else would have been good to add? To evolve this dish is like um, if we chopped like onions and grilled it and then threw it in, mm, right? That would mm -hmm. be good too. I think it's just missing some kind of vegetable element. Like even if we just added a few peas, I think that would help me think it's a little healthier. But I think the probably why this recipe was so viral in Japan is because of the simplistic of it. You just throw in couple pieces of KFC chicken with in your rice cooker with rice and that's it yeah mm -hmm. it also reminds me of like and I don't know about you but like growing up when my nieces and nephew were young a lot of times what they would eat was just rice with some kind of shredded meat this is like I think a little kid would love eating something like this because there's just those two things in it a lot of times it was chicken too. I bet you Hedy would like this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> make his make his food in the rice cooker. Cause we already we already cook his food. We cook brown rice, mm -hmm. and then we buy ground turkey, and we buy the frozen bag of peas and carrots. And we just combine all those, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, the flavor is all in the skin. Mm, I got like this like corner piece. <laughs> we did leave the skin in here. Skin is in. Yeah. Mm. Dang. Get some more. Are we <laughs> no, there's a lot more. There's still a lot more? Are we going to eat the whole thing? I don't know. I'm just saying like... I don't know how much more is left. Or okay. What, what does this look like to you? We made a good dent, but there's still a lot more, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is what you're talking about, this part. Yeah. Now. Was that the, at the very bottom? Yeah. Look at it like so, that. So, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a caramelized part. Mm. This is probably where all the flavor is, huh? That and the, yeah, the little bits of skin that I got. Like, once you eat that, oh. Do you want this piece? No, no, I already had a piece. I don't want no. I feel like it's so... Uh, Decadent, you shouldn't eat too much of it. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, this would probably like not work with the other uh, chicken, right? The extra crispy. Because that one's just like crispy, but there's oh, not as much, much. There's not that much flavor. Yeah? 
Like original recipe, I just feel like it's just herbs on herbs. What we should do next time is try with a Popeye's chicken, try with Jollibee chicken, and then oh, do a taste test yeah. and see which Korean fried chicken. I don't know. Try with anything, huh? That's a good idea. Now, verdict. Will this get popular in America? Well, here's the thing. Like, how many households in America even have a rice cooker? Count all the Asians. So how many is that? <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, how many is that? That's why I don't think it'll... It's not a household appliance that everyone has. So mm -hmm. now I'm thinking maybe not too many people will. Because it's totally different if you just made rice and then eat, the chicken has to be in the rice cooker with it. Mm-hmm. Because, like, whenever I cook, like, uh, what's that one instant rice called? Like, Uncle Ben's rice or whatever? It just, I don't even feel like I'm eating rice when I eat those. And I don't know what it is. It's just the way it's, like, cooked. Like, it's in that bag that has all the little holes and you just throw it in mm -hmm. the water. And I'm like, that's not rice, is it? It is, but it just doesn't remind me of rice. I always am curious when someone like decides to like do something like that they really intend to do it where they like, oh, I don't, I'm too lazy to cook. Let's just, you know, like, I don't know where this originated, really. I want to meet that Japanese person. <laughs> it's like, what made you think of adding KFC chicken to your rice cooker? Yeah. Yeah. We need a new rice cooker. Yeah. This, this guy's been, we've had, oh my God. We've had him for a while. How many years? Um, probably like 15 years. Rice cookers last that long? Well, I guess so. We're eating rice from it. It still works. But well, I would love to have a new rice cooker. I was going to ask you, like, because you have done some research on rice cookers. Like, what, what warrants a rice cooker to cost? Like, what's the high-end rice cooker cost? I, the one that I want... I think it's around like six hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so and then this was how much? Do you mm, remember? I don't like hundred and something. So what does a six hundred fifty dollar rice cooker? It's supposed get you? to make better rice. That's it. That's the that's the only thing. Like you can't like text message from it or like watch a like TV on it or anything. <laughs> like I'm just trying to think of like why what's the five hundred dollar fifty? No, the one that I want has some kind of special technology in the way how it cooks the rice. So if you cook brown rice you know how people don't like brown rice because it's tough and mm -hmm. not chewy mm -hmm. but this is able to break down the brown rice in a way that it could still come out fluffy and soft mm. but you still are eating the health benefits of brown rice like that's just one of many features of a good rice cooker Growing up, I didn't really get exposed to like learning how to make rice because my mom always did it. So like that whole like how much water to add, I don't know. I don't know how much to rinse. Like I don't know anything. Maybe. So I want a rice cooker where I could just set it and forget it. No, you still have to add water. To, you still have to rinse like, the water. I think, I think the next level is like you just throw in the rice and it weighs it and then it spews water in to like clean it and then it makes all the water go and then it adds just enough water for based on the weight. <gasps> Let's so, patent that idea before someone takes it. So I feel like Chicken. you just need to use that Uncle Ben's rice then. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do anything with it. Well, are we going to do this again though, realistically? I would. And I think maybe for when we host pot, like a potluck, uh, you know how we always run out of ideas? Yeah, there's only so many times we can make uh, what is my go-to? I always make bacon wrap dates. Yeah, or you know, like when you cook something and you're like concerned about keeping it warm and like, oh, what am I gonna put it in, whatever. Just instead of a slow cooker with meatballs, because that's a, a, a the common yeah. potluck item, right? Just, just do a rice, chicken rice, and rice cooker, it stays warm. I think it's a conversation starter too. People will ask you questions like, about oh, it, what is for sure. This? It hasn't been done, so yeah. Yeah, we'll So see. yeah, I, I mean, and it's a cheap meal, because all we really paid for was no, KFC is kind of expensive. How much was a bucket? $17 for eight pieces. Only let's for eight, $17? And like, here, let's let's expose them real quick before we go. This is considered a piece. That is not, that's like the size of my glass. I feel like 
You kind of reminded me of Ursula. Me? Yeah. In Little Mermaid. Why? Because I just... The way he just picked up the krill and be like, I'm going to eat you. Do the word of the day before we go off for the holidays. Elevate. Elevate. All right. So use the word elevate in your comments. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. Let us know. Please try this. If you have a rice cooker, try it. I want to know if you like it or not. Yeah, yeah. I'm very curious because uh, I don't think we saw anyone actually like make it yet. No. And then everyone gonna make it and be like, oh, we made the chicken in the rice cooker and then we're gonna <laughs> go back into obscurity again. Stop it! <laughs> You're so <laughs> negative. I'm negative? Yes. Are you sure? Let me rub some positivity on you. you oh, wait. Let's, you think I'm more negative than you? I'm let's, so positive. Mm -mm, no. I am positive. Just because you try to eat that 15-inch sausage in the last video does not make you a positive person. At least I tried. I rewatched that. Yeah. My first bite of it. I took a princess bite. You took a big bite. <laughs> Anyways, let us know. Um, it's actually, I recommend it. So try it out. It's really good. It's mark approved. It's mark approved. All right. Well, happy holidays and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.